Okay, Hepper, of course, and the next thing that we can approach here in, uh, in uh, the Devil Blues is that it's focused on this little area here. This uh, third, third fret and the fifth fret, strings one and two, a uh, little bit of string three occasionally. But not in this lesson, I don't think. I'm just going to restrict it right there. We were working on these, uh, that type of sound down here. With, uh, with strings one and two in this little area, strings at, at fret uh, two and three. Now let's just move down here, and I'm gonna use something that I mentioned uh, sort of as a joke uh, last time, <laughs> uh, or in one, of the, in one of our lessons, about Birthday by the Beatles. So, um, Birthday by the Beatles is, uh, let's look at this, because there's a bit of uh, guitar theory that, that will uh, come into play here as well. And, uh, and demonstrate what that flat third means. And you also learn the riff for, for birthday. And if it were uh, done in the key of A, which we're gonna do in the key of A, because that's what we're doing in double blues, so that you get the benefit of these open strings six and five, you would start off with a, which is string uh, six twice, and then string six fret four, and then, string five fret two and then string five fret four excuse me string string uh, five fret five which is the seventh and then and, and also right there you may have heard Roy Orbison's beginning to pretty woman same thing up to that point So that's the way pretty, pretty Woman starts. So you get two for one here. So, so you get, and, and remember that John Lennon called himself Elvis Orbison at, at various times, big influence on him. And then string five fret five, string five fret four. I'm spending time on this because you're gonna do the very same thing with regard to frets when you play the A string, which can, hopefully start to get intuitively obvious to you. It's the same shape. So you have a, and that's string six twice, open. Fret four, string five, fret two, string five, fret five, string five, fret four, string five, fret two, string five, open. That's, that's uh, your basic riff for, for a birthday. As for fingering, I would suggest that you do it with your pinky, but you can use your ring finger at this point at fret four. See, I'm just taking fret four and just sliding that right down, because I'm not playing anything else. I don't need to maintain anything approaching that E chord. We're not using the E chord throughout this, uh, we're, we're just playing this as a, as a bass riff. And then come right back, very same notes I'm gonna play. And come down for the A note, for the A chord now, and string five open twice, string five fret four, string four fret two, string four fret five, string four fret four, String four, fret two, and string five open, and then back to back to the E, and then you come to the the B the B chord, and the B of course is uh, your your slight challenge in the the whole Del Blues stuff. This is not Del Blues, but we're going to transform it into Del Blues, uh, and and you have string five, fret two, which is the uh, the B note at the E bass, and you play. String for the same thing, twice. String five, fret two. And then string four, fret one. String four, fret four. String four, fret, uh, or string, string three, fret two. String three, fret one. String three, fret, or string four, fret four. And then back to the, to the bass note. 
because of the, the configuration of the guitar here that uh, changes a little. And then back to the E to finish. So that's birthday played normally. Now, it, what's the, the little bit of guitar theory here is that we're playing a G sharp here. That's the third in, in the key of E. So you have E, that's the, oh, that's the root, F sharp, and G sharp. So E, that's the first or the root, and then you have the second in the, in the key of E major, that's F sharp, and the third in key of E major is a G sharp. And this song's played in with a it's your birthday, etc. It's my birthday too, yeah. And then it goes to an A. Today it's your birthday, and then play play that through. So you're playing a, a song in a major key here, but if you if you transform this into a bluesy version, this G transforms into. A, or G sharp transforms into a G, and we'll play it with the same, uh, with the same um, scale, which is the, the minor pentatonic scale. With this G, E, G, A, B, D, E, with these five notes: E, G, A, B, D. There's five notes. So. If you, if you transform this into a blues song, I'm just going to do it basic here, uh, and I'll build up on this in, in future videos as we move down the neck and explore some other different ways to, to play this and make it sound real bluesy. And, you know, I like it, I like it's done as a, as a blues song. So if I did it as a, as a blues song, I won't confuse you, I just have an E chord here, but just the way you've been playing with a steady beat, one, two, three, and I go. And that's to an A chord. And back to the E. Now to the, to the B, and I'm just gonna go here to the, a B note, that's B, string five, fret two as the bass note, and just string two open is a B. Just play that. And then come over to an A, and, and switch up to an E. I'm gonna go through that. And then finish off with a, with a B. I'm gonna count that out for you. I just did that without the count, just to show the, the, the different chords that you're gonna hit. And the chords that you hit, that, that you're playing, are what determines which bass note that you play. If you're playing an E chord, you're playing an E bass. If you're playing an A chord, you're playing an A bass. And if you're playing a, a B chord, you're gonna play chord a B seventh. Um, and then play the B bass, and that B bass is found at either string five fret two for the moment, and, uh, or at string six at fret seven. So I'm just going to look at these, this area that I, I told you in, the, in this lesson, uh, fret three and fret five. We have, we have the first and the third. We have an E note here, string two, fret five, that's an E. I'm playing it here. I also have string one open, that's an E. But I can't vibrato that, and I can, I can vibrato this note, make it sound bluesy. So I could just hit this. So you hear that steady. And here I'm plucking at these two together. Just to get you started. You can, you can alter this any way that you want, but the way, the way I'm playing to sound most like the melody notes of that song is That comes out. I'm plucking that together, then I hit the note again, the note being string two fret five. So I've now hit it pluck, and then 
the and note in between would be one and two. One, one and two. And then my next and is up here on this G note, which is the third in the, in the, uh, in the scale. The flat third, see it's not this major third that we played up here. We've just transformed this into a bluesy sound song by, 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 by moving this, this, uh, this nitro zone in here for blues, which is that, that wavering between the flat third, this G, and the regular third that it should be. This G sharp right here. We're pl not playing that G sharp, we're playing a G. So you come out, and you have basses going right here. Now I'm going to come down to the A chord, and it's going to be the A bass, which is string five open, and play that same thing. So I, let me do it again from E. Again. Now to the A. Back to the E. So I played the same thing, basically. Let me just review that again. I don't want you to go crazy counting this. You, you, you have more natural ability than you, than you know, and it's easier instead of counting that out. One, one and two, one and two and, one and two and. But you can do that, and I will do it, but you can't go crazy on that because uh, I, I think it'll, it, it often retards you from from uh, making the progress that you can just by you kind know, of let your your motor skills figure that out. So you go, and then three, four, and I come down to the A, and I'll do the same thing on the E. I hope you're doing, see I'm watching my wife, she's filming this, and she's tapping that, because you can't help <laughs> tapping that with your foot. And that really helps, as I told you before, just to get that, your foot's tapping with, with my thumb. See, that's what, that's the beat of that song. And down here, you're developing independence, and that independence is what kind of makes it sound neat. You know, if you played every, See, that's what you get, and so that sounds, you know, not, not the way that you want to. They were even sending the cops to this house because it sounds so bad. That they, so you got, they must really hate it, so. And I come down to the A chord. See, I just added that. Right? That's not, that, that's not the, 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 the and, what I just played there is not the melody of the song, but it's the little stuff that adds in between when all I've got going is that bass note. So I've just got a bass note here, I go. That's dead space, just that bass note. So to make that sound a little better, I just start adding little notes. And I not even move my fingers starting off. I'll just hit this string two fret five a few times, right? that so it's not the melody I'm... that to the A chord which means I'm just going down the string five open and then back up to the A and, and then I come up to the B Excuse me. I'm, I'm going to use this E here and give that a little push up, or at that being string one fret two, and then back to the E, and then back to the A. One, two, three, four, then E, and then to a B. just to finish off, and then you would go back. So that now I, I just want to give you a, 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 a few things right in here to make that sound, you know, a little neater. 
So let's go, uh, t let's get this note down here, the string one fret five, this A note. See, now I can take that and bend that up and then come back to. Now what I did there, the first time I just bent it and then slow release and then picked the, up the. And the second time I went which is hit it twice up, bend this up, bring it down, and then hit string one fret three, and then string two fret five. So it comes out. How about this middle note? See, that's G, and, here, and here's the G sharp, that G sharp. In this song, you build that G sharp back in and put this note in. How about if we do this? And what I did there is I hit the A, and then I went to that G sharp and flipped it off. I pulled off right here to the G, and then back to the E, so it comes out. Or, you know, I mean, you can play around and get different rhythms to that, but. And then come to the A, and I'm at the same place, and I can use those very same riffs. I can come down. I'm on the A there. And I come back to the E, and I'm going to play the same riff. Okay, how about putting these two together? It's always nice to have a couple notes there. I can take this, put my pinky on string one fret five, and my ring finger on string two fret five, and just give that a little railroad bend. So you come. Back to the A. Back to the E. And then back to the, to the B, and no, I'm not giving you anything fancy there. That'll come later, but just. etc. But I, I'm just focusing right on here, right in this area right here. So uh, there's just a couple little riffs. I, I said I'd be concentrating on riffs, and I figured why not concentrate on this song, which is kind of like parody, but fun. And uh, next we'll come down here to the and do some of the same type riffs. And I'm sure you can hear rock and roll inside there. Have that developed in the rock and roll riffs. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's plenty to work on. You worked on this. Uh, this section right in here is what I did last time. With always that bass gum to the A. You know, all that stuff. Then come down to this next little section in the guitar. And do the same type of stuff. But with one other thing here that I gave you. It's just a little, nice little railroad. And there's a bunch of them. And a bunch of those around, and of course this that we, that type of stuff. We'll get into that, uh, but I kind of like just going down the fret for here and just examining one little section after another. And then your job is just you know, master those little sections and then start putting them together and you got yourself playing, okay? Work at it, have fun with it, and I'll see you the next time around. If you got any other ideas or someone to see something, just email me, call me, whatever, and we'll uh, we'll do it.